In this video, I'm going to show you about five different ways that you can use to zoom in and out in Photoshop and this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So mostly, I'll be making tutorials and I'll zoom in and out or I'll just go like this and then easily come back to the main image and I get questions how do you do this and mostly I know that this is a very basic stuff but then I've been getting questions on how do you zoom in how do you zoom in so let's take a look at five different ways that you can zoom in let's start with a very basic one so in the Photoshop tools when you go to the very bottom part here you are going to see the zoom tool so once you select that you are ready to zoom in and out and then you realize that when you select the zoom tool it only shows you the plus sign so if you left click it just zooms in how do you zoom out if you go to the top right section over here you can select this one and once you left click to it is going to zoom out for you but for you to select and select here that is going to be a tedious work and that is when the next step comes in now once you select your zoom tool you left click and you start dragging down it will just be zooming in like that very simple right now you left click and you start dragging up to and then it is going to basically zoom it down so you drag down to zoom in you drag up to zoom out so you can basically be doing it like this it is pretty simple as compared to going here and selecting the plus and minus back and forth now about the same thing once you zoom into this level you can easily right click and then select fit to screen and it is going to fit this to your screen very simple right you can as well use the keyboard shortcut which is very simple and handy as well so control plus plus is going to zoom in like that and then control plus minus is going to zoom out so you can zoom out very small like that and if you are at this level and you want to bring it to the normal screen size to fit the entire screen you can just hit on control plus zero and then it brings it to default or it fits the entire screen now, if you look at the top here, you're going to see this crappy zoom and then this 100% effect. So once you check this off, you'd realize that the zoom in and out will not be working. But instead, you'll be given this option to select just a portion that you want to zoom in. So if I select here, it just zooms in into that part. Or if I want to select the, just the math, I'll just draw around the math like this and then it will zoom in over there for me. But the scrappy zoom makes this whole thing very simple because you are able to zoom in and out at the same time another thing that i would want to talk about is you realize that once you start zooming in here the figure or the percentage here is changing so that literally means that you can easily also come to this portion and type in say 300 percent and hit enter and then it will zoom in to 300 percent let's assume you want to go about 500 percent it will just zoom in like that another thing you can easily do or which will be very handy for you is you press on the space bar and it will activate the hand tool so instead of using this and this to go to the sides you can easily just drag to the side that you want so this gives you access to go to different places whilst you are zoomed in so that you can work on them so if you want to go to the eye for instance you can easily just drag and get to the eye if you want to go to the end part of the hair you can easily drag here and you can simply get there as compared to using this having to use this or having to use this and that you can easily just drag like this and we are there pretty simple right now the last thing that i want to talk about which is pretty similar to what we just discussed is called the navigation zoom so if you go to your window and you go to navigator you are going to be able to see this once you zoom in here a couple of times you can easily use this navigator to easily go to any part of the image without having to stretch so for instance if you want to get to the bottom part we can just use this navigator go to the side or we can easily go to the end of the hair so you realize that it is pretty much like the hand tool and the hand tool is activated over there right so you can easily just go to any part of this image that you want to go to and you can use this slider to also zoom in or zoom out and use this to easily navigate to other parts of the image and yes these are some of the ways you can easily zoom in and out in your photoshop i hope you found this video helpful if you did a subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated 
let me know in the comment section if you have any topic that you want me to treat or if you want more short videos like this thank you so very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye